Hello and welcome to the Fence Devlog. Fence is a crime RPG set in the Bronx in the early 1990s. You play recently expelled from school, Jimmy, trying to claw his way out of poverty by learning the art of selling stolen goods, or what's otherwise known as fencing. As you guide Jimmy to success, you'll meet a range of interesting characters, from Brandon the Barfly, to Tyler of the Bloods, to Sophia the Sophisticated Alco. Learning what to buy and sell, for what price, and from whom, are keys to success. All of course, without getting in trouble with the law. You should also get to experience this little part of the Bronx firsthand with its sights and sounds. One of the most interesting parts about engaging with any piece of entertainment is exploring and learning about something you may never have even thought about. In our game, it's the fencing of stolen goods. What's that process that happens after something's been thieved? When we started researching fencing as a profession, we found that it had its own rich history, characters and stories. We realised that there was a really interesting game where a player could explore the illegal market of stolen goods. The player could learn about that market, gain skills to appraise and improve goods, and learn how to make the highest profit by genuinely understanding the value of an item and who would want to pay that for it. The game is currently in alpha with a short demo due to be released in October on Steam and Itch. The basic gameplay system of buying, cleaning and selling goods is in place, with work on the item generation and the inventory systems nearing completion. Jimmy's three main environments, Mum's house, the basketball court and Shifty Adam's bar, are well progressed as well as the opening tutorial sequence. Jimmy and the NPCs who will star in our demo are also well progressed. So what's next? Over the coming weeks we're looking forward to completing some of our NPCs, our item generation and inventory systems, as well as the main environmental art. In our next dev vlog we look forward to showing you how the team have researched and developed the environmental art to reasonably portray a small part of the Bronx in the 1990s.